Snow White and the Wood Nymph. Once upon a time, an evil queen named Hela was living on the top of a very high mountain. Hela always wanted to be the most beautiful person in the world. However, Snow White, who lived in the most beautiful castle of the country, was much more beautiful. Dunkov, what are you eating? <laughs> yes, my queen. I was eating a steak with lots of sauce. Would you like to take a sample? Ugh, no. I have to pay attention to what I eat. But this is the best steak in the world, my queen. Ah, uh, Dunkov, go away and eat your steak. Leave me alone with this little nymph. <laughs> Dunkov went to a corner of the cave and continued to eat his steak with pleasure. <laughs> little nymph, little nymph, what happens if you can't fly to the sky tonight? The little nymph was flapping her wings up and down in the cage with fear. The light of the full moon goes out, doesn't it? <laughs> so what happens if there is no light in the sky at night? Darkness. <laughs> Hella was planning to imprison the nymph in her cave and turn off the light of the full moon. Then she could perform her treacherous plans without being seen. Meanwhile, Snow White's best friends, the seven dwarves, were coming out of the mine where they worked all day and were walking through the woods towards the castle. Hey, Dwarf, was it getting so dark when we used to return to the castle? <sighs> Maybe that means it's time for us to just sleep now. <sighs> the sky was so dark that the dwarves could not even see each other. And Ace Dwarf realized he could no longer see the moon and stars in the sky. There's something wrong. Ah, the light of the full moon has gone out. This explains why the sky is so dark, boys. But why did the light of the full moon go out? Ah, <sighs> one of the wood nymphs must be in trouble. The full moon loses its light if that happens. We need to get back to the castle right away. Come on. The dwarves used their minor flashlights to see the road to the castle. Meanwhile, Snow White and Prince Antoine were looking out through the castle's balcony. Tonight is much darker than the others. Hmm. And the seven dwarves haven't returned yet. What if they can't find their way in the dark? Suddenly, Prince Antoine noticed the flashlights between the trees. Look at these lights, my princess. Could these be seven dwarves? Yes, yes, that must be them! Snow White went to meet the dwarves outside the castle. Seven dwarves, the night is too dark. How did you find your way? We're minor dwarves, my princess. We work underground. Our flashlights show us the way. <sighs> but we have bad news, Snow White. <sighs> the nymph that gives the light to the moon must be in danger, because no night has ever been so dark. The nymph who helped me out in the forest, could it be that nymph? It could need our help. We must find out. Snow White started to run towards the oldest and darkest room of the castle. 
where they kept evil Hela's magic mirror that always tells the truth. Mirror, mirror on the wall, show me what happened to the wood nymph. The magic mirror showed her that the nymph was held in a cage. I know there, this place the cage stands, Hela's cave. Snow White got on her horse and set off with great courage to save the nymph, unaware of what might happen to her. Come on, Snow White, you can do it. Don't be afraid of the dark. Let's go, Prego. Prego didn't do what Snow White said. What happened, Prego? Are you afraid? Prego didn't move because the silly dwarf was standing before him. Silly? What are you doing here? Oh, I didn't want to leave you alone, my princess. Look, I brought you a light too. Snow White took the silly dwarf with her and started to set off. So you're so brave, Snow White. You see now. Hela began to say magical words to the glass globe. Meanwhile, the silly dwarf and Snow White, who were riding on the horse, began to hear strange noises. I... what was that noise, my princess? These noises they heard were coming from an ivy root controlled by the magic of Hela. And these roots started to wrap the silly dwarf and the princess with lots of ivy branches. But Prego quickly retreated and got rid of them at the last minute. Oh, no! Oh, no! My no! Princess. Look out! No way, oh, Ivy! No. No. Help. Help! Help! Help, my princess! Oh. There's ivies all over! Help! Prego targeted the roots of ivy branches with his sharp eyes. After rubbing his horseshoes on the ground a couple of times, he started galloping towards that root. Finally, he stepped on the magical ivy root. Thus, the ivy root, which was disconnected with magic, immediately pulled its branches. Snow White and the silly dwarf got rid of the branches surrounding them. Thank you, Prego. You are amazing. Come on, silly dwarf. Let's go and save the wood nymph. Hela was standing before the black mirror with Dunkov. Snow White can never get rid of that ivy, Dunkov. Tomorrow, I will be the most beautiful woman in the world again. Yes, my queen. Your magical vines must already have destroyed her. <laughs> um, um, um. As they speak, Snow White and Silly Dwarf have already reached Hela's cave. They secretly entered the cave without making any sound and saw in a corner a cage. Silly, stay here. Don't make any sound. Snow White, with silent steps, reached the cage before Hela and Dunkov could see her and then lifted and opened the cover. The nymph came out of the cage and quietly landed and settled on the shoulder of Snow White. The princess slowly walked back to the silly dwarf. But while they were about to come out of the cave together, silly dwarf's foot was stuck in a stone and he fell. And the silence inside was broken. What was that noise? Uh, which noise, my queen? No. Um, um, no. They noticed us. Run, silly, run! Hella saw Snow White and the silly dwarf leaving the castle. Snow White! How could you get rid of that ivy? Then she realized that the cage was empty. They have taken the nymph too! Dunkov, run! Catch them! Even though Dunkov was running after them, it was not possible for him to catch them. 
Meanwhile, Snow White and Silly Dwarf got on Prego with the nymph and started to move away from the cave. No, no! We couldn't do it again. We lost again! I must be the most beautiful woman in the world! Snow White stopped her horse Prego among the trees. Now you are free, Wood Nymph. Fly and light our full moon. The princess flew the Wood Nymph from her palm to the sky. As the nymph flapped her wings, the stars started to shine again. And finally, the full moon began to reflect its own light into the night. The sky is glittering again, so let's go back to our castle. So let me turn off my flashlight now, my princess. When Snow White and the silly dwarf arrived at the palace, together with other dwarf friends and the prince, they looked at the stars in the sky and made wishes. After all, the wishes of kind-hearted people come true sooner or later. <laughs> <laughs>